Hello everyone, it is me, Laxanara here, and welcome to a video on the new Halloween event. In this video, I will be going over on how to play the event, show you the new emoji that you can get from it, and I'll also be giving you a couple of tips on how to play the event in the most optimal way possible. Without further ado, let's get into how the event works. So this event consists in you finding ghosts and killing them, so that you can get these ghost soul items. By doing that, these ghost souls can later be exchanged into a set of new emojis that you will be able to use. For this event, all you'll be needing is a harm or knockback wand, either one of them will work, and you will be heading into a mine. For this occasion, any type of mine will do, but there are some better ones that you can go to, which we will be talking about later. Once you're in the mine, you're gonna be walking around in order to find a ghost. These ghosts can spawn anywhere in the mine, and they will look like the plaza from the ghost hunt event from earlier years. Once you find them, you are gonna be hitting them with your wand, and by doing so, they will drop a ghost soul. Once you get a certain amount of these ghost souls, you can then head into the official event realm in New Eden and talk with this soul collector NPC. The NPC will then collect your ghost souls, considering you have the exact amount, and the souls will then be exchanged by the emoji of your choice. The price for each emoji will vary, I'm adding the price table on the screen now, and when you redeem your emoji, leaving the realm should add it into your emoji tab. Now that we have explained how the event works, let me give you a couple of tips that I have learned from experience. So first off, the ghosts seem to have a spawn limit of somewhere around 5 or 6 and a minimum limit of 1 to 3. Obviously, this is merely speculation and is a type of statistic that came from observation alone, but it should be very close to what other people have been saying. As to what mine you should choose, you will have a couple of options. For a beginner level, either the forest mine or the deep forest mine seems to be the best options. Both type of mines benefit a lot from having relatively small changes in height compared to something like desert mine, but if you're struggling to hit the ghost, the slight elevations that you can find in the deep forest mine region can help you into trapping the ghost into a corner. I would avoid either mines with a lot of height, like mountain mines and desert, and I'd also avoid biomes that have either a lot of water, which is in the case of the tropical mines, or biomes that have resources that act like fluids, like in the arctic mines and the oil, as a ghost can sink in the water or in those fluids which will make it a lot harder to hit the ghosts. However, if you really want to start grinding for these ghost souls and want to get into a more advanced level farming, the best biome to go for is the cavern mines. If you don't know, cavern mines are a type of sub biome that can be found in a couple of rare cases in the mountain mines, and usually they will have a cave entrance like this and they can be found underground under a big mountain. With the new event, they have gotten a little easier to spot because the biomes have a special dim stem that can make objects like portals glow, and the advantage of using cavern mines as opposed to other biomes is that the cavern mines tend to have a lot more cramped spaces. What that means is that it will be easier to find the ghosts, and oftentimes they will be in clusters of 2, 3, and sometimes even 4. Now, although cavern mines can be a little rare to find, from our research, they are by far the quickest way to farm the ghost souls, and they can be a great option for grinding a lot of souls as fast as possible. As to how's the best way to find the ghosts, if you are in a forest mine for example, you would rather go in the spiral rather than go to the far end of the mine. What I have found is that it's very unlikely that the ghosts will be spawning in the extremities, as that will just make them much more likely to escape out of the realm and vanish, and for that reason they can be fine to be very concentrated somewhat in the middle of the mines. For that reason, the best way I have discovered to finding the ghosts is by walking in the shape of a spiral. What that means is that you will be circling the center portal, gradually widening the gap between you and the portal, and by doing that you should increase the surface area you are exploring and able to find the ghosts in the fastest way possible. If you are going to a cavern mine instead, there's not much secret, you will just be going to each pocket of the mines as well as following the narrow paths to see if you can find any ghosts that got trapped along. Another thing to note is that the amount of ghost souls you can get per ghost will actually change depending on the amount of people in the mine. What that means is that if you have, let's say, two people in the same mine, if you kill a ghost, that ghost will actually drop two souls. As far as I know, the amount of ghost souls is capped at two, so you can't get more than two souls per ghost, but in any case, this should help you a lot into dishing out some extra souls. What you can do is that you can try hunting with a friend, that way both of you can get souls, or if you want to be optimal, you can just log in into an alt account, which is just there to make sure you are hitting that two ghost mark. Lastly, I thought it'd be nice to tell you guys that the way that the ghost for this year's event works is the same as the plasm from the ghost hunt from previous years. What that means is that if you have the ghost traps from the ghost hunt events, you can actually use them to catch the ghosts. The ghost can later be turned into either to sell or to be used as a collector piece by using an echo containment chamber like I did here. Now, you cannot get every single one of the ghosts, as half of them are player-owned realm dependent, and obviously the ghosts for this year's event don't spawn in player realms, but that should help you get started into collecting those ghosts in case if the Plasma Hunt event ever comes back, so that you have that extra head start. 
that is the end for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you like this type of content, I plan on doing more of that in the future, so you can subscribe to the channel, that way you can catch up whenever I upload, and share this video with a friend whom I need it would be really helpful. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments and like the video so that I can see how this type of content goes. Comment down below your favorite wearable in the game, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.